I was very happy um, to, to see the baby. Amanda Williams is a mother of three with a fourth child on the way. She was at a doctor's appointment in Mesquite when someone stole her catalytic converter. It's just not a place you expect for something like this to happen. It's that very sound Garland and Irving police want you to be aware of. The sound of a saw being used to cut off a catalytic converter. In this video released by Irving police, you can see the suspect's car next to the truck. He pulls out a saw and within 60 seconds, the thief slides under the car or SUV. These criminals, they're brazen. These types of thefts are happening across Texas from grocery store parking lots to school buildings. And usually there's more than one suspect. One will act as the lookout. The other person typically has a saw. So what are some of the warning signs and what to look for? Police tell us, for example, if you're here at a grocery store parking lot, a busy grocery store parking lot, and you notice the car hood just popped up, that right there could be a red flag that someone is trying to steal a catalytic converter. Distractions that they may use, like jacking up a vehicle, which may appear that they're working on their own vehicle, but it's actually someone else's vehicle. So how can we protect ourselves? You buy these plates to actually cover up the whole catalytic converter. You can even buy an engraving tool or go to a mechanic shop to get it engraved. And that actually helps protect the actual uh, catalytic converter from being sold once again. Over in Tarrant County, they've set up an auto crimes task force where investigators are targeting people illegally selling catalytic converters. The key here, if you hear something, say something. A train, it was very loud. In Garland, I'm Molly Basu.